Trance. Dan uh, pad- bertemu kembali pada persidangan terbangsa bagi kosmetik dan kelengkapan dagangan diri halal 2010 di Kuala Lumpur April lalu. Uh, Timbalan Menteri Perdagangan dan Terbangsa dan Industri Datuk Mukris Mahathir menyebut bahawa Malaysia berpotensi untuk muncul sebagai hak bagi produk kosmetik halal dunia. Ini berdasarkan persekitaran negara yang kaya dengan bahan-bahan herba semula jadi yang boleh dibangunkan sebagai bahan utama dalam pembuatan produk kosmetik tersebut. Dan uh, saranan tersebut seharusnya dapat uh, membuka mata pengusaha-pengusaha tempatan untuk melihat potensi besar pasaran kosmetik halal sama ada di dalam maupun di luar negara dan antara produk halal yang terkenal dalam pasaran terbangsa kini adalah One Pure Halal Kosmetik dan bersama kita di studio untuk mengupas konsep kosmetik halal dan pelan perniagaannya adalah pengasas One Pure uh, uh, Kosmetik itu Leila Mandi Welcome to the studio Leila, thank you thank for you. being with us Thank you for having me So, uh, the trend for halal cosmetic, halal manufacturers of going halal is is actually phenomenon, especially in Malaysia. So, uh, you're based in Dubai, right? I am, So, so yes. what's the trend like in Dubai? Well, if there's a lot of education that needs to be done right now in the mm. GCC countries. I think that in Malaysia, people are more aware <coughs> of the importance of halal certified cosmetics than mm. in the GCC. So part mm. of my job right now in the in building my brand is educating the customer in the GCC. Um, so the awareness is just growing. It's not as it's not as the same phenomenon that it is here in mm. Malaysia. So it's growing. And, Absolutely, and, and, yes. And and then. Uh, uh, and and of course, tell me about your 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 product and uh, how how's the acceptance like in in Dubai? You've been launching it like last year, right? Yes, mm-hmm. I launched last year first on Saudi Airlines, and now I'm sold in Galleries Lafayette, mm-hmm. which is a really famous French department right. store. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm sold alongside the international brands, mm-hmm. uh, very famous brands, and my product competes directly with them. Mm-hmm. I have to say that uh, it's far more successful than I anticipated when I uh, when I started this right. a year ago. Mm-hmm. The response has been fabulous. Mm-hmm. People come in and they buy, you know, two or three whole sets to give mm-hmm. to their sisters or their cousins. Mm-hmm. So women that um, hear about the product mm. r- love it they come in and they mm. buy and in I hear it's not just in the GCC region it's also been exported in the African countries yes and the American yes, yes. Canada United States uh, so how what who are your main uh, deep what what from what kind of people that demands this kind of product I mean that ladies and of course uh, uh, are they executives who are they, basically? Uh, these are very sophisticated ladies. They are used to the best things in, mm. in, lo- in life, and their beauty products also. They want the best. They want great quality mm. products. Mm. And they're Muslim women who have wanted an alternative, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but have yet to find one on the market. So mm. when they hear about One Pure, they're really, they're really excited about it. Mm. So my customer is an affluent, sophisticated lady. Mm. Yes. All right. And uh, about the product itself, is how, how would you... Um, Position the product uh, in comparison to the other luxury skincare. Well, my my brand is uh, halal certified, mm-hmm. but this came later. First, I wanted to develop a product that was mm-hmm. exceptionally uh, mm-hmm. exceptionally good quality, mm-hmm. and the packaging was to be in inter- inter- at an international standard. I also mm-hmm. formulated it for um, extremely hot and humid weather, mm-hmm. something like um, that we see in Dubai or I- here in KL. Yeah. Um, uh, the other brands are targeted mm. more to European sort of uh, weather. And can you tell us about the packaging? How, can you maybe open sure. it? Sure. Yeah. Show it to us. Um, so this is a, I'll show you, mm-hmm. this is a, it says a halal in Arabic. Mm-hmm. So a, a lady would be able to uh, read this if mm-hmm. she's a Muslim. Mm-hmm. This is also the uh, crescent, mm-hmm. which is part of the company logo. So mm-hmm. they're very subtle signs mm-hmm. showing that it's um, a, a Muslim product mm-hmm. by, made by a Muslim, mm-hmm. Muslim woman. <laughs> Oh. And this would be the, um, this is a serum for dark mm-hmm. circles under the eyes. Mm-hmm. And again, this w- would be used uh, underneath your eye cream. And, uh, and then uh, how many products do you have in your range? 13 products. 13 products. I focus mm-hmm. on whitening and anti-aging. Mm-hmm. I also have a really great acne treatment and a few other treatments that mm-hmm. are in the line. But really, I wanted to make a complete alternative for halal cosmetics mm-hmm. or skincare line for women. Okay, this is a halal products, but I would like to ask whether what is the acceptance like for the non-Muslims? Shockingly, I've had you know I've had a lot of response from non-Muslim women in Dubai who look at the product and think it's very competitive. They mm-hmm. think it's beautiful packaging. Mm-hmm. There's products that they want, and it's also made <coughs> for the intense heat and humidity. Mm-hmm. So even as a 
European woman living in Dubai, mm -hmm. um, if I'm buying European mm -hmm. designed products, they break down in the weather. So, so basically, uh, because this product is uh, in high quality yes. and, and it suits the the, the, the um, climax. Uh, exactly. Uh, and how about um, let's say an European lady from from uh, uh, Greece, for instance, yes. how would they adapt to this product? Uh, if she was living in Dubai, mm -hmm. uh, it would, it's perfect because mm -hmm. they absorb really quickly. So mm -hmm. you don't go out into the heat and humidity and the product starts to break down. Mm -hmm. You feel very moist, a little mm -hmm. bit uh, damp. Mm -hmm. um, so they really hold up in the, mm -hmm. in the extreme climate. How about the acceptance of the non-Muslims in the non-Muslim majority countries? Um, in Canada, for example, mm -hmm. um, I have uh, mostly my customers there are Muslim right now. Mm -hmm. I think um, once I expand and develop, mm -hmm. I will have, obviously, because of the competitiveness mm -hmm. of the product quality and packaging, I mm -hmm. will... Uh, get non-Muslims mm -hmm. even in Canada mm -hmm. as, a as a client. Uh, okay, we just uh, had the World Halal Forum, the yes. annual World Halal Forum, yes, and you're one of the participants, right? I was, so yeah. So how, how is the participation like in the World Halal Forum? How how the reception like in the world uh, for cosmetics? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of interest in cosmetics, and even the prime ministers recently said that cosmetics is the next booming industry for the halal mm -hmm. for the halal market. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were asking very very smart, interesting questions mm -hmm. about the new uh, the new products mm -hmm. that are going to be developed for mm -hmm. the halal market. Mm -hmm. And speaking about Malaysia, how would you see the uh, luxury skincare uh, product? How would you see the demand for for these kind of products in Malaysia? I think the the greatest demand in the world mm -hmm. right now would be mm -hmm. out from in Malaysia. The mm -hmm. uh, Malays have the highest awareness of halal skincare mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. and they're just waiting for a great product to be on the market so <coughs> they can really switch. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I think uh, there are some products on the market, but they're not really international. They're not competing internationally, and uh, the Malay women know good quality, and mm -hmm. they're they're aware of all the different brands all over so the world. So there are demands about yeah. Very much. Okay. Yes. Uh, so when are you coming back? Uh, when when are you coming to Malaysia? <laughs> well, I'm here now. I'm going to be here for uh, the next couple of uh -huh. months. I'm interviewing distributors. Uh -huh. I'm looking to launch uh -huh. the brand here. I'm doing a lot of research, uh -huh. um, learning about how people uh -huh. are shopping, where they're shopping, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and trying to build a really quality. Uh, foundation. So, uh, uh, speaking on distribution of the product, have yes. you been spoken to any parties to to distribute this very high end yet? Not Halal that expensive product. products. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah um, I've spoken to a few potential mm -hmm. distributors. Uh, some people that mm -hmm. are coming from different industries, not necessarily the cosmetics background, but want to diversify their portfolio. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of my job <coughs> while I'm in Malaysia is interviewing, making sure that I have a really solid long-term partner. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm definitely, I've, I've interviewed a handful. Okay, so yet still this product is not yet here in Malaysia. Not yet. So if... I would like to buy or if I would like to purchase your product, where can I get it? I have some Malay customers who are mm. buying from me online. All right. Um, so we will deliver um, anywhere in the world. And I have a lot of customers from Malaysia that mm -hmm. I do deliver mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully it will be available in your best stores here in Malaysia shortly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much for having me, oh, no. Cairo. <laughs> no problem. Itu tadi, uh, Laila Mandi, itu pengasas dan juga ketua pegawai eksekutif uh, One Pure Skincare dan mengenai produk One Pure serta hala tujuh produk ini di Malaysia. Dan kita teruskan dengan berita seterusnya. Tahap tabir urus korporat di Malaysia harus ditingkatkan bagi memastikan ia dapat memenuhi jangkaan pelabur yang semakin tinggi. Pengurusi Suranjaya Security Tan Sri Zarina Anwar berkata, semua pihak yang terlibat dalam proses tabir urus harus memainkan peranan yang lebih baik bagi meningkatkan Katkan Pengurusan Korporat Malaysia.